Hello, my name is Tyler from Wensco, and today we're working with the Roland XJ640. We're gonna go over feed calibration today. I'll show you what that looks like on a test print if something needed to be fixed, and I'll show you how to run the feed calibration and fix any issues that you may have. So let's get started. If you don't know how to run a test print, you can check out our other video on it, but you can see here we have overlaps in our test print. This is typically a feed calibration issue. We're just gonna need to space this out a little bit. So we'll go ahead and show you now how to run that calibration. To run the feed calibration, you're gonna go into menu, down to calibration, and then over to test print, and you can just press enter to run it. So what you're looking for is the place where this bottom bar and the top bar meet so that there's no gap in the middle. You can actually see that there's a gap on all of these. So we're just gonna set it to the plus 0.15 and then run this again and see if we can see where they meet. To change the settings, we're in the same menu here, but you're gonna go down into settings, and then from here, you can just adjust it. We're gonna to go to plus 0.15. You can press enter to adjust it, and then you can go back out of this menu and run another test print. So during the second run, you can see over here, we still have a space, but if you look closer to this side, there isn't much of a space here. So we're gonna go back in and set it to negative 0.45 and then rerun it again to see how it looks. So you can see on the new one, there's not a whole lot of spacing on any of these, but you see right about here, it'll be hard to see on the camera, but it starts to overlap. So that's what you don't wanna to go too far to where they start overlapping, but you don't want a gap. So honestly, negative 0.45 is looking pretty good here. So I think that's what we're gonna leave it at. And that's how you run the feed calibration on the Roland XJ640. If you were seeing any spaces in your print or any overlaps, this might be a good idea to run this just to make sure everything is working properly and that your prints look good. But if you have any other questions about it, you can contact us here at Wensco and we'd be glad to help you out. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see us do next. And if you liked anything you saw in this video, you can check it out at Wensco.com. But thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.